Hello, potatoes! My name is Weapon, and welcome to shop. Today, we're going to roast Hulk Hogan and Lara Croft, as well as twizzle me shimbers in pirate fashion. If you understood any of that, then you are my friend now. Okay, so let's continue our adventures, making uh, lots of awesome stuff. Can I even afford to make that... A canny. Ooh, I can afford to make the bow of awesome. So we definitely want to get that going. We can freelance in Stevie Flounder. Yeah, he's done a pretty good job. And what I love is this game, the music. It really just instantly is like, yay! I'm in the mood for making potato weapons. And it's just it's just lovely letting it wash over you. It really really is. Okay, silver bow. What shall we name it? Uh, Okay, Jagged Haggid. Jagged Haggid? I could get behind Jagged Haggid. You could see how that bow is Jagged Haggid. It's got lots of edges, lots of lots of curves, you know, a bit of Jagged Haggid action. I'm kind of liking it. First of all, then, we're going to send our Bolkabogan Explorer on a journey, and then we're also going to sell Jagged Haggid with Laura Craft. We're really going for it today. That's what I'm going to say. We are... We're making, we're making it work. We are making it work. In fact, now that I think about it, is there any real disadvantage to just also sending a bit of, uh, oh, you must have at least one smith in our shop. Sad times. Sad times. It really, really is. Okay, they are both done. What have you found? Power berries. Okay, I like me some power berries. I do. Let's get our speed boosting here. Oh, he's going to pay 1900 for it. Yes, sirree. Archie Huntsman, off you go. And he is hopefully nearly level 20. I mean, I feel like he's going to level up a fair amount. Yes, 24. A real lifesaver. That is how we do. Sad face. Um, Bulbogan, are you okay? You don't look so good. Sad potato face. Oh, you look stressed. Sad potato face. How about a song? Guns and Roses. Take me down to the paradise city where the grass is green and the spuds are pretty. I don't actually know the full tune, but I do know the song, so half credit. Your turn. Sad potato face. Maybe it's time to take a break. You can now send Smiths on vacation to make them happy. Alright, you can go on vacation in... Noob. Oh, they're already all happy. So you just lied to me, did you, Bulk Bogan? That's, uh, that's a little bit upsetting. Oh, we have to send a smith on vacation anyway. Well, all right then. You should be the one to go. You did seem a little bit upset. You've been invited to this year's Golden Hammer Award to be held on month four, day 15. To award that you'll be presented with this year are the most powerful weapon award, the most accurate weapon award, the overall best weapon award. All non-legendary weapons completed after the Golden Hammer Awards last year will be eligible to compete. Nice! We're getting seriously awesome awards. That's fantastic. Ooh, we can buy decorations! We can make our shop fancy! Oh! Oh, that is what I am talking about. We can make our shop fancy! That is awesome. That is really, really awesome. So how do we buy decorations? Is it in a certain place? Well, we're here, actually. I'm going to buy... A load of iron and stuff, just because it, you know, we tend to, we tend to go through it a fair amount. So we'll send our merchant off doing that. Oh, we don't have a merchant in our shop. What the hell is Russet Peters doing? The conniving piece of just rotten potato flesh. That's actually that's that's extra mean. That's that's a little bit extra mean. I, I shouldn't have done that. So I've got lots of these. Got some relics, enchantments, flashing your nuts. Oh, here we go. Shop upgrade. 3,000? God, you think I'm made of money? Oh, God. Jeez. Bloody Julius Caesar couldn't afford this, and he knew the wealthiest man to ever exist in the world. Oh, all right. Let's, let's, uh, let's try some more weaponry, I think, for now. After we get that research done, we will forge the bow of power and make good our name in the land. Hey, you can now afford a longbow. Oh, it's just a regular longbow. I mean, that's just not as impressive as 
the silver bow. But, you know, nevertheless, let us uh, make it. Spudlock Holmes, off you go. Give it that accuracy. That's lovely. It's not going to be that good, but, you know, it should serve enough of a purpose. So can I do contracts? Okay, time limit three days. These horseshoes for condition is coming up. I need good horseshoes to practice with. All right, I guess I guess I'll do a contract. I mean, it seems like it's a good way to bit basic the bo bit basic. You have to yell its name from the battlefield as you fire arrows upon thine enemies. But yeah, let's have a go at a contract. It seems to be interesting. Okay, ah, so we have to finish it in the time, and yeah, we absolutely nailed that one. We're gonna get mad money for that. Awesome. Okay, that seems like a really neat way to earn some money. Okay, I've got time limit three days. Can I pull that off? I mean, we'll try this one while we're at it. Oh, no, this one's gonna... This one's not gonna succeed. No, five hours, four hours, three hours, two hours, no! All right, so I think that has thoroughly shown me that I should maybe, maybe not do uh, the uh, harder contract. I got distracted by rope in my defense. You know when you see rope and you're just like, ugh, rope. You know, I had that kind of, kind of thing there. Okay, bit basic. Who would like to buy my weapon? Bit basic. I feel like they aren't going to be too interested in that. All right, we've got our materials. There we go. And now I'm going to send him on holiday. He deserves it. He's, he's a little bit upset. He's been working hard. Uh, he'll play 1600 for it. He is going to get to level 30, which is... That is an eye alien creature who goes... Rawr! One eye Jack. How did I not notice him before? That is absurd! That is absolutely absurd! Bit basic! Yes! The best thing since sliced bread! Awesome! Is it, like, weird for a potato to eat bread? Because they're both, like, very similar in structure. Maybe this is the question for the potato philosophers of your discussing in their pantheons. Okay, so we'll send uh, Lara Croft on vocation. Uh, vocation? Vacation. Her vocation is to be a designer. Her vacation is to get a suntan. I know the difference. And that's the English corner with rage for today. Alrighty, so she's come back. She's happy. Alright, now that everybody is elated and happy, what we should do is get on with our next weapon. Is there anything new I can research? There is not. So, I suppose for now, what we should do is make ourselves an axe. That seems uh, the way to go. Unfortunately, we can only afford Beagle Brown to uh, give it a boost, which is a shame. And we do have snow going on. I mean, what I don't get is each weapon I make seems to roughly break me even. So... I, I don't know. This one is going to be, we tried. Would you be interested in this elegant axe that we make? Oh, well, certainly. Would would you care to tell me of its name? It's, um, it's, it's we tried. We, we tried with it. Is that, is that, is that good that it's called we tried? Well, I mean, we tried. We did try. That's... That's what I'm trying to tell you. That's, uh, it was, it was a group effort. We put love into it. Will love kill my enemies with this axe? Well, I mean, it, it depends if they're love demons, because then, then you can overload their love sacks, and that sounds weird to overload a demon's love sack. Well, we'll, we'll stop this thought process right now, I think. We will stop this thought process right now. What I am going to try, however, is making this silver bow, but I'm gonna see what happens if I don't give it a boost and see if we can make a little bit more money that way, because I've not actually tried to do this yet, so it might indeed be worth it. This is gonna be bow wow 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 the bow. I kinda like that, the bow wow wow wow. <laughs> Naming weapons, I think I'm just meant to be. Okay, and I imagine the higher the merchant gets, the better at selling weapons to people they are. Okay, so we can get 500 for it without the boost. Is that kind of worth it? Because it means we don't have to pay a thousand. I don't actually know. I recommend you to my fellow guild members. Nice. 
I'm not entirely sure which one I should, but what I should be doing is leveling up other heroes so I get some fame. So for now, in fact, I haven't researched the other dagger, so maybe I should do some exploration. Can I expand? Oh, I can expand! Oh no, it's five. Damn, I need more tickets. Always tickets. All right, off you go, and off you go. Let's see what these two bring back for me, and then we'll make what we can. I really want to unlock another dagger, though. Ooh, Warrior's Mark. That's a new relic. That is fantastic. Down you go, Bulk. And another Warrior's Mark. I would imagine this is the dagger. Yeah, there we go. We've got a new... Ooh, a crossbow. And that is one hell of an axe, my word. Okay, cool. So, I guess Laura Craft can be the best one to research that thing. And then if we get someone else to research the crossbow. Oh, you can only do one research at a time. That kind of sucks, but I guess it does uh, make overall sense. So in the meantime, then, we will send Bulk on another explore. He'll probably be done roughly similar time. Yeah, I mean, they're almost synced up. That's kind of nice. Uh, more stuff we don't really need, but it's nice to just keep gathering materials. I mean, it saves us doing a lot of expenditure, and we've got to manage the budget. I keep getting word up from management. Wow. The heavy axe. That looks impressive. Oh, we actually... Oh, yeah, obviously we can do more research. So, I guess we will research that one. Russet, off you go. And then in the meantime, then, we are going to forge ourselves the heavy axe. This weighs 200 pounds. Instructions on use. Lift it up. Gravity will do the rest. <laughs> I kind of like that. And then we'll get Donald Macaroonald to give this a little bit of a boost, because I want it to be the very best, like no axe ever was. Dun, dun, dun. Each spud to wield it will understand the spud warrior inside. The light crossbow, that looks awesome as well. So, it's time for the Golden Hammer Awards. It's an annual event where the best weapons made in the year are acknowledged. Let's see if you won anything. Oh, awesome! Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the annual Golden Hammer Awards! This year we're presenting you with the most powerful weapon award, the most accurate weapon, and the most overall best wrist weapon! First up is the most powerful weapon award. Here we go, here are the nominees. Let's welcome the judges. That is some- Oh, we're not getting the awards, that's just the categories. Well, I'm kind of sad now. Results are in, the most powerful weapon is... There it is, the matchlock by Komani. <laughs> the most accurate weapon. None of those are ours, and that is a rifle. That is a grenade launcher with a flamethrower attached. I feel like I'm in the wrong business. Ooh, okay. Interesting. Then the overall best weapon. Axcalibur! Yes! Bribe! 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 Bribe them all! Bribe! Bribe! Keep bribing! Alright, good! We bribed! We bribed so hard! Come on, Excalibur! I believe! Yes! Excalibur! Money works! Get corrupt! I own these judges! <laughs> 10,000? Well, that was worth the investment! Bloody hell! Sell... Celebration Blade, a blade made in honor of our great day. Celebration Blah, it's, it's as good enough. It's, it's as good enough. Oh my word, that is absolutely excellent. 10,000. See guys, whenever you need something, just bribe people. 1,700, that's not bad at all. We will sell that to him and that will hopefully give us a little bit more fame. And down we go. Yes, 94%. So what we can do now then is, of course, upgrade our shop. So Deco, we could buy a nice little plant pot that we've equipped. Smith Accuracy plus two. I mean, this kind of paints the wall. I mean, that's nice, isn't it? Let's get that and equip it. There we go. And then get the floor going on. I mean, it's probably the best use for this money. All things considered, we've not really unlocked. Oh no, we've got this. 4,500? 
I mean, it makes sense to invest in these things, it does, but for 2%, no, we already look nice enough with this fancy wallpaper. And by fancy wallpaper, I mean that looks really, really bad. So I can actually, I mean, they're both in Noob Village. I've not sold a weapon to them. I could bump Terry Treehugger all the way up. So I guess I'll make this specifically for him. And then I could actually afford to get Portana involved in this, and she can really give it some accuracy. Look at that. Hopefully we do make our money back on that one. And we are wrecking through this weapon. Okay. Tree Hugger's Bane. See? Made specifically for him. And I knew that I couldn't fit the extra E on, so that's why I typoed. It wasn't because of accident, so I don't know what you're talking about. The English Ballista made portable, kind of like handheld consoles. Ho ho! Sell weapons, noob village, Trehugger's Bane. Laura Croft, let us go. See who would like to invest in glorious property. So yeah, oh, we could get 2k from him though. That's kinda, I'm sorry, I just need the money. I, I'm sorry, tree hugger. So now, so now he's actually gonna use it to kill the tree hugger. <laughs> Cause it's tree hugger's bane. Oh, that is brilliant. So we really need to find dagger parts. So I guess we'll go on some more exploration, see if we can't bring anything back in that respect. Because we need to be able to level up the thieves of the world. Okay, we got a focus herb, that's neat, at least we got that going for us. And then, haha, uh, old ornament, this might be the one. This might, ooh look, here is a, ah, there we go. Alright, so what looks cool? That's just, that's just a kitchen knife. That just looks like a kitchen knife. 23 hours, 20.5. So, this one looks like it'll be the best. Bulk Bogan, off you go researching that. In the meantime, we will send off our friend on another explore, get him leveled up. I cannot believe I won overall best weapon with a plain axe. It was up against, like, advanced machine weaponry as well. Oh, Spud World, never stop amusing me. Okay, what did you bring back? Ah, just a dusty arrowhead. You're not very good, friend. I mean, I wanna, I wanna like you, but you're not very good. That's, that's all I'm gonna say here. Okay, decoration. Ooh, there's lots of other stuff, actually. A small cooling unit to help combat the heat. Well, I mean, it's currently, like, frosty at the moment. Two capacity. Okay, so we need to get to shop level two, I think. Coffee machine. A cute little doggy hat. Well, sorry, that needs to... That needs to happen straight away. I mean, there's no, there's no, nothing, nothing I can do about that. We, oh, we do want to give them coffee as well. We do want to give them potato coffee. So we got to have this going on. I like that you can done that. You can outforge the stiletto. Awesome. Absolutely awesome. All right, let's make this stiletto and make it glorious. Ooh, we can do more research. Nah, 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 nah. We need to stab some people. We need to stab some people. So we will get Master Wong to give it as much speed as he can apply. And then we'll level up some thieving people. Though it seems kind of like we shouldn't be making the thieves of the world better. But then again, what did what do I know? What do I know? No robbing. Alright, just a friendly reminder to stop stealing from people if you're gonna use this weapon. I think it does make sense. They they might look at the inscription and, and become better people, is what I'm hoping for here. Alright. Yeah, we'll give that to you. That's a fair amount of money. And he'll get seven levels, which will definitely sort out our fame problems. A real lifesaver. Good, I'm happy. And the merchant bonus, pulling in a lot of extra stuff. Down we go, and there we go. And lock tower of root beer. Well, there we go, guys. We're about to go to a whole new area. I'm excited. Let me know if you potato enjoyed this. My name is Potato Rage, and I'll see you potato next time. Remember to potato like, and a good potato.